Welcome to Mtron Training Part 51. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our overrun fuel cut programming. Our overrun fuel cut allows us to cut our injectors off when we're in lift throttle or overrun conditions. Now, this can improve our drivability if we're programming it properly because as we come on and off the throttle, we need to retard the timing and bring it back in. It's going to be very specific of how we work with this. Even if you're on a race application, you're not really interested in saving fuel by shutting off your injectors. The drivability can be improved. We're going to discuss how to implement this and things to look for during your programming. We're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our overrun fuel cutoff setup and programming within our Mtron ECU. Our overrun fuel cutoff is when we want to shut off the injectors in overrun or lift throttle conditions. We'll find this improves the drivability and proves the fuel economy, both things that we want to integrate into our calibration strategy. Now, I've chose to purposely left overrun fuel cutoff here further into the training course. I didn't introduce it earlier. This is a relatively basic function, but it is going to be something that we don't want to introduce when we're trying to calibrate and validate our air and fuel modeling within our Mtron, whether that's speed density based tuning, mass airflow based tuning, or throttle mass flow, because it will affect what the fuel is doing on transitional conditions where we're coming off the throttle and coming back on. We want to make sure that the air and fuel modeling relationship is solid in those particular areas. Then when we get into lift throttle or overrun conditions, we can start to turn this on and evaluate the performance of our engine. So I always like to do this as one of my last steps in my calibration process with my air and fuel model. Let's talk about how to integrate this, all the tables to work with, and making sure that we're programming it properly. It's actually relatively simple, but it does again improve fuel economy and more importantly, drivability, that transition on and off the throttle. So if we go in here under our config, and then we click on this and we move into functions and to function output setup. If we move here under engine functions, we have this very first parameter ORFC, overrun fuel cutoff. What this is saying is in overrun conditions, lift throttle conditions, we want to turn off the fuel injector. Now, turning off the fuel injector is going to stop combustion. Well, fine, because we're off the throttle, combustion will stop, but the engine will keep spinning because of the momentum of the actual engine itself. We need to be careful with the overrun fuel cutoff. We want it to work and function as we're driving in normal cruising uh, part throttle conditions. We want to make sure that it's going to turn on, turn back on the fuel injector when we're getting close to our idle speed. That's especially important if you have a light flywheel or if your engine spins down relatively quick in terms of that momentum. If it spins down too quick and we're not turning on the injector fast enough, we can find that that combustion event that needs to happen to stabilize combustion to produce engine torque and being able to get our engine to come smoothly down into an idle will be lost. We'll get stalling or bogging conditions. We want to avoid that. So the overrun fuel cutoff here has to be applied very specifically and has to also be applied very specifically in relation to our throttle position because if we're lifting throttle, we need to make sure that it's only when we're actually off the throttle. We don't want to be partially on the throttle at one or two percent and have our injectors turn off. That's going to be very abrupt. It's going to make drivability very, very, very poor. We want to make sure we're very specific of how we're actually integrating this. Let's jump in here and take a look at how we're going to do this. So we're going to double click on this. We can find right here, this is our parameter configuration. Now this is just basically turning it on. We're not going to do anything else. We don't have to assign an output to this. There's no frequency or step position or anything that has to be accomplished. Uh, program down here. We just go to our function enable and we literally just turn it on. Once we do that, we'll click OK here. And now the feature is turned on, but we do have to configure it. We'll go back into tuning here and we're going to jump under engine functions and we're going to find in our parameters right here overrun fuel cutoff. These are the parameters that we need to program in order to implement it properly. So we want to be specific of how we're turning this on. We're going to go in here to our overrun fuel cutoff setup. And then we have a bunch of different parameters we need to account for. This is how the system is actually going to work. It's going to hinge upon our setup and configuration here to make sure it's configured properly so that it's not turning on randomly as we're driving and then it does actually shut off the injector. So if we program these variables here wrong, the actual overrun fuel cutoff could do things that aren't desirable. Let's first take a look at our option here up top, overrun fuel cutoff, throttle position, pedal position select. This is going to be looking at either throttle position movement with a cable driven throttle body or pedal position on a drive by wire throttle body application. So whether you're cable or drive by wire, we'll choose either option zero or one. In my case, I am cable driven throttle body, so I'm gonna keep it on option zero. 
our next option here, this is going to be our threshold of where we want it to actually activate. This is... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.